Are you the one? Are you the one who makes the change in your family, in your bloodline, man? You can change it all around, all around. I swear, never feel sorry for yourself. Yeah, but I didn't grow up with this much opportunities. Good, man. Good that you didn't grow up with much opportunities because then you know that you have to go after it yourself. And that's what many people don't see. Never, ever feel sorry for yourself because you can achieve everything from every position. You, you who is now maybe crying about how bad life is. You have to look in the mirror and understand that you can change everything around for your whole family and that there are people who came from way fucking worse than you and who made like millions, who built companies worth billions. I swear, the craziest success stories you hear are from people who came from the bottom, from the fucking bottom, below the bottom. Why? Because they look into the mirror and they see that they have to make a change. They are desperate for success. They come from so much pain. They are driven by pain. What is your drive? Why do you want to succeed? Is it because you live in a certain situation and you're fed up with it? Do you look at yourself and are you insecure? Are you ashamed that you see people pulling shit off and you are doing nothing? Is that it? That's all pain. Pain is a, a major drive, man. I'm here because of pain. I... I made a change in my life because I, I went through to the pain of, of shame and not, not knowing where I, I was headed. Coming from the bottom is exactly where you find answers, man. Like some people, they are driven by pleasure. You can either be, uh, be driven by pleasure or pain. What is it for you? Ask yourself, is it mostly that your life is comfortable and you just want more holidays, more money? You want to flex on, on, on these, these haters in your, in your area or whatever the fuck you want. You want to impress people. That's all pleasure. That's not real pain. Real pain is like looking back into your life and seeing that your family was, was struggling. You had issues at home. You, you went to the supermarket, wanted to, to uh, buy something and you didn't have the cash. That's fucking pain. That's shame. Come on, man. I had all of that. And I turned it around. You know why? I was honest with myself, man. It's very important to do that. You, you who look at this video right now, you can change your whole family around. They will be the proudest ever. If I'm honest, I'm not the smartest guy there is, but I know why I'm here. I know exactly why I'm here. I'm here because I made a decision. I made a commitment. I was stubborn as fuck with my vision. Nobody could tell me nothing. I started in uh, e-commerce beginning of 2018. Back then there was nobody popping here, nobody. There were just a few guys overseas who was pulling it off. Like you right now, if you uh, want to start something online, people might doubt you, but at least you can say, look, this, this person has achieved it. Look, this one has done it as well. I couldn't show nobody. <laughs> I had to fucking show them. Are you the one who's going to show them? You can be. I swear. It's not that difficult. It's just not easy. It's fucking simple. Simple means there are certain steps. There's already a path that you can walk. But you have to stay consistent and on top of it. Every person who's became successful, who has achieved massive shit in their life, they will tell you. There will be struggles along the way. There will be fucking obstacles. You have to overcome them. It's like a fucking video game, man. But make it fun for yourself. If I face a challenge, man, <laughs> I look at myself and I'm think, all right, we're going to find a fucking solution. No matter what. It doesn't matter what fucking position you come from, man. After rain always comes sunshine. But you know what you want to do? Especially if you right now are going to hard times, are going to difficult situations. Maybe you're already in business, but things aren't going your way. Know that you have to be present. Especially when you go through massive pain, massive adversity. Be present during the pain. You will find the answers. Like one of my mistakes is that what the man already thinks he knows, he can never learn. So I thought I knew so much, but I didn't know shit. And that's why I came back and became a student again. I stopped doing the things which got me there. That was the most stupid mistake. I stopped learning. I stopped reading. I stopped investing in myself. Biggest mistake I made. I'm glad it opened my fucking eyes. Because you know what they say. Success leads to comfort. Comfort leads to failure. Always stay on top of your game, man. Always. If you want to keep leveling up in life, stay sharp. It's important. But are you the one? I want you to be the one who makes the change, man. I cannot explain. I cannot explain when I go to my parents' house and I see what uh, this, these things have done, man, for my family, for my little brother, for my mother, man. I swear. When I come home in my parents' house and I see my mother 
and the clarity she has, the peace she has. She was always stressed the fuck out, man, growing up. Always. Because she didn't know what was gonna end up with me, man, and my brother. Always stressful situations, negative situations, painful shit. But right now, fucking peace, fucking clarity. No stress, life of freedom. Man, I want you to have the same. You can change the whole bloodline around of your fucking family. At one point, you will understand. In the beginning, things start fragile. Of course, of course. For me, it was the same. I was driven by very fucking small things. Right now, if I look at, at them, I'm like, how the hell was I driven by that? I was fucking driven by buying a certain designer shoes, which is right now, I don't fucking care about that. Like, but back then, for everything I didn't have, I was grinding, man. Everything I didn't have as a kid, I was grinding for that. And at one point, you have all that. And then you have to go to other persons. You have to show your family, like, all right, I've done this, and this is for you. Come on, man. You know what fucking year it is? 2022. 2022. People are on their fucking phones eight hours plus a day. Eight hours plus. It's the easiest time to make money online. Ever. Ever, man. And if you, right now, are on your phone that much and you're not making money up from it, you're doing something wrong, man. Make a change. It isn't that hard, man, but you have to make a decision. What are you gonna do? You know what, what people do? They're on their phones all day, checking what other people are doing. Man, that's what makes people depressed. Why? People show the outside, of course. Of course, people want to put themselves in the, in the spotlight online. You can't blame them. You can only blame yourself. Social media, the only reason I use it is to generate content for myself, for my brands, for my businesses, to make money, to inspire, to help others. Fucking creating shit, man. These people, consuming fucking content all day all day people on their phones eight hours a day but too lazy to watch a, a fucking course too lazy to watch a, a 20 minute youtube video on how to improve themselves come on man <laughs> you don't deserve it if that's you you don't deserve it man i hate people who start like pointing fingers at oh he he, he got lucky oh he started at the right time blah 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 that's what people tell people told me oh man like, oh, very good that you started uh, back then. Oh, uh, very lucky that you, you found that product. <laughs> I smile at them. Luck doesn't exist. I swear. Luck doesn't exist. Luck is when preparation and action meets fucking opportunity. I was fucking prepared and I was taking action. And then when you are prepared and when you take action, you can see other people can't see. I've seen so many people blow up around me, students from me, with maybe businesses that other people have tried already. Or with products that other people have sold already, but said didn't work. But my students were prepared. They saw things other people might have not seen. And that's why you always have to be on top of your game and keep investing in yourself. I want you to make the change, man. That's why I do this. I've done it for myself and I know it's the best feeling ever. The best feeling ever. You can do so fucking much in this life. But will you make the decision? Will you do it? Because you know what happens in the morning? That alarm goes. <laughs> when that alarm goes, it's not just your alarm. No, it are your fucking dreams. It is your family. It is your brother. It are all those people around you in your neighborhood who you grew up with. Who are wasting their life. When that alarm goes, it's that what's calling you. That is what calling you. Are you gonna fucking snooze and lose? Or are you gonna go out of bed and go after it? And fucking crush it, man. It's not only about yourself. Come on, man. You wake up and you snooze or you are like, nah, man, I'm, today I'm gonna sleep in. I'm so fucking tired. Oh, I've had such a hard week and this and that. There's always an excuse. I swear, I don't give a fuck about that. I could have made so many fucking excuses in the past. So many excuses. I'm here right now, came out of the gym. Sunday morning, here, the sun is going up. It's 6.30 in the morning. I was here at the gym at five. When I was driving to this gym, I see people down the road, fucking drunk, out of their mind. Some of them, you see, they're not happy with where they are. But what did they do? They party and drink away the pain and the problems. But you have to understand, you can never overcome that what you run from. You can never overcome that what you push away or where you hide from, I swear. You can only overcome by taking action, by being honest with yourself. How bad do you want it? Ask yourself that question, all right? Samo Nua, ciao, ciao.